God's favorite band, Green Day! God's favorite band are back. What's up everyone, John from ARTV. It's time for a review of the greatest hits compilation, God's Favorite Band. It's Green Day, my personal favorite band, and here they are with a couple of new songs and obviously a collection of their greatest hits. It's crazy to me that they've been around for so long and the fact that I have just been head over heels with them since 2005, that's whenever I fell in love with their music, and it hasn't stopped since then. I'm not always listening to them, but every time I come back to them, it's special to me and it's something that still sounds as fantastic as it did back then. So for God's favorite band, where did they get a name like that? Well, they appeared on Stephen Colbert, The Late Show, and he actually referred to them as that, and Billy seemed so elated by the fact that they were called that, and I think that that's where the gears started turning. Maybe they were working on a Greatest Hits compilation, and they were like, that's it. We have our name now. God's Favorite Band has 75 minutes of punk rock, pop punk, alternative rock, Green Day for you to enjoy. Obviously the big hits, and there were a few surprising omissions that I'm a little bit salty about, but I'm, I'm gonna get over it. Some of the tracks that didn't end up making it on there, like the title track from Revolution Radio, Waiting from Warning, which is maybe not a huge hit, but at the same time it was one of the singles, and I understand that this isn't just a singles collection, but I have so much love for that song. It's so underappreciated and here it goes, flying under the radar again. When I caught wind of the greatest hits coming out, I knew I was going to do a video about it. I just didn't know how I was going to approach it. And then I first thought whenever this was coming out, I was like, do I even need to listen to this? I've heard these songs so many times. And then I thought to myself, no, that's not right. Of course you need to listen to the songs. Why not go back, get the experience, and listen to these songs again? And it's not like I haven't heard any of these anytime recently, just maybe not all in a row, but these tracks do bring so much to the table and it sees their growth throughout the years. Yes, they changed, yes, they evolved, but for the most part, I really think that they stayed true to themselves. And some of the moments, like obviously the early ones, Longview and 2000 Light Years Away, some of the early renditions, and then Welcome to Paradise, bring me back to that era and just seeing Dookie get named the number one pop punk album of all time recently by Rolling Stone, it's kind of an amazing feeling. And then you've got something like that I can't ever hear without picturing this again, but obviously the track Basket Case. All I can think back on is some of the band's memories playing songs like that, obviously the iHeartRadio meltdown that Billy Joe had in 2012, and you just have to look and see they made it through all of this. Fuck this shit. There's four songs from American Idiot and there arguably could have been more. Jesus of Suburbia is another one that I would have included in this, but we do get obviously American Idiot, Holiday, my favorite song of all time, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, and Wake Me Up When September Ends. And this is a special, special album, not just because it is my favorite album of all time and because it's so acclaimed, so many people love it dearly, but because this is the album that saw Green Day's resurgence. I think that this band could have fizzled out after Warning if they didn't have something big, something to pick them up, hoist them up, and put them back into the mainstream. There's only one song from Insomniac and two songs from Nimrod, both very underappreciated albums, especially Nimrod. I was actually just listening through that record about a week before recording this video, and I had such a good time listening through songs like Platypus, I Hate You, worry rock and just all these other really chill moments like I don't know there's moments that just mixed it up there's moments that added a little bit of a different flair to Green Day's persona and the band in general and then you have amazing closers like Prosthetic Head overall that album does go overlooked but I'm glad that a couple of songs did make it onto the compilation the only song representing the entire trilogy of albums that they put out Uno, Dos, and Trey is one off of Uno and it's the lead single Oh Love which is an okay song I'm still not crazy about it to this day. I do like it much more than I used to. I didn't really like it that much, and I didn't see why it was chosen as a lead single, but it's a shame that moments like Stray Heart didn't chart better. That's from Dose, or even some of the other tracks from, obviously, Trey. Like, even X-Kid I would take over that. But unfortunately, those aren't the ones that turned out, I guess, to be the bigger hits. Not that Oh Love was exactly an extraordinary, powerful hit, especially coming off of 21st Century Breakdown, but it was more of a return to roots. At least the album 
in general. And it's just crazy how much this era of the trilogy has just kind of overlooked and forgotten about. I know a lot of you probably checked out this video because you were curious to know my thoughts on the two new songs, so let's go ahead and talk about those. We obviously only have actually one new, entirely new song, and that is Back in the USA, and we also have a new rendition of Ordinary World from Revolution Radio. It features country star Miranda Lambert, and it's interesting, it's fine, and I think that Billy Joe has definitely dabbled in this in the past. In fact, he performed with her one time, so this isn't something that I was so entirely shocked by that I was just like, this is going to sound terrible. I knew that they did have some prior chemistry, and that's just fine. I'm not a huge fan of the reworked version. I do like Ordinary World, even though if you listen to it too much, it's one of those simple acoustic tracks that can get overplayed quickly, but I think that this new version does have some life in it, and with the harmonies and the vocals, they sound just fine, and I'm okay with this song. I just don't think that it's going to be something that just grapples my attention and demands me to come back to it. However, Back in the USA is a totally different story. I'm really, really enjoying this track. It's maybe not their most fascinating movement that they've ever made, but at the same time, it's totally getting the job done for me. Sounding like a cross hybrid between the trilogy and maybe a discarded track from Revolution Radio just because it didn't fit in with the theme, this is a really, really strong song that does kind of address the feeling of blind patriotism, all these people who were just obviously saluting to their flag and taking that flag to their coffin, essentially. Blind patriotism is a very bad thing in the USA, and I feel like this song is represented through maybe a soldier's eyes coming back into the States and just seeing everything, and it's a very sarcastic track. It's talking about, you know, let the bells ring, all of these other things, and if you watch the music video that goes along with it, you can see that it's very clearly directed at those like Donald Trump who are spreading lies and just deceiving people on a daily basis and it reminds me of Pleasantville and the movie that came out in like 1998 with the way that the music video just it, once everybody's kind of getting informed it goes from black and white to color. The music and the guitar tones on this song are very much akin with punk rock music and obviously kind of a pop punk chorus because it's very very catchy it sticks inside your mind and it is kind of a return to basics for Green Day in just a very urgent catchy sense and that's not necessarily a bad thing whatsoever because this song has already been ingrained in my mind, and I don't think I'm going to be forgetting it anytime soon. I appreciate a lot of the lyrical moments here as well, especially lines like drawing comparison between drinking poison and it tasting like lemonade, just believing lies that are fed to our head, and them going down so smooth, sometimes it's easier to believe the lie, and that's very unfortunate, and it says a lot about our country right now. So I appreciate that, and obviously the let freedom ring with all the crazies on parade. There is unfortunately a mess going on in our world here in the USA, and I am so sick of it. I feel like Armstrong is as well. We know how the band feels about some of our presidents that we've had in the past, and obviously Donald Trump, and I definitely agree and echo those sentiments. All in all, if you're not air guitaring along with moments like Long View, When I Come Around, Minority, Shouting Along with the Vocals from American Idiot, Wake Me Up When September Ends, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, Know Your Enemy, not every Every song is their best song here. I'm not hinting at the fact that their singles are better than anything else in their discography. However, I do love so many of these tracks. So many of them I have distinct memories of because they shaped my musical taste. So it's really fun to go through a compilation like this. I think I might actually pick up a CD or else vinyl copy for myself. What do you guys think? I can't really put a rating on a compilation like this because obviously I love all of these songs. So why would I not give it a 4.5 or a 5? But I'm not going to rate it because it's a compilation. So just take it as I enjoyed it. I hope you guys will check it out. If you're looking to get more into Green Day, this is a great starting point, and obviously you get a brand new song back in the USA. Anyways, let me know what you thought of it. What do you think of the new songs? Let me know in the comments section down below, and please, while you're here, help me out by hitting the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are brand new here. Good news! You can watch all of my Green Day-related content in one convenient playlist. I put it all together for you right over here, so tap this annotation. If you're able to support me on Patreon, it's the one over floating in the corner of your screen. If you would like to see another recent review, you can tap right over here. All of my social media accounts are linked in the description down below. Other than that, I'll see you very soon right here on ARTV.